viewers welcome back to this channel Let's give me another quick video based on a crank nose start condition this vehicle is already pre-diagnosed I've concluded that the problem that's causing this crank nose start condition is a faulty ICM which is no longer providing that 12 volt reference as you can see here it's pin N white with black so that pretty much that 12 volt reference is what sends power to both of your inputs which is the cam and crank sensor so without the signal from the crank sensor, which is the 3X and 18X, it's a dual crank sensor. So without the signals of the crank sensor, we're not going to get spark from, from your ignition coils. I've already set up a one of these test light spark testers. As you can see here, I have the, uh, my, my fuel gauge already hooked up. You know, we are getting sufficient fuel pressure. It's not dropping as I crank the engine. So let me go ahead and show you guys here as I crank the engine that we're not getting any uh, spark through that test, through that spark tester there. All right, so let me go set up real quick. Let me crank the engine. As you saw there, there's no spark. And with the key on engine off, our voltage is pretty much zero. So we're not getting that 12 volt reference coming out from the ignition one voltage, which is that pin P, with pink with black. So let me go ahead and show you guys that as I back pull that pin, you know, we are getting the input voltage to the ICM there you go as you can see with the key on engine off we're getting about 11.31 which is sufficient voltage but that voltage is not reaching to the 12 volt reference pin all right guys so I guess the next step you know I'm gonna show you guys real quick is the wire and diagram hope you know hopefully it makes more sense by showing you guys the the ICM diagram. All right, all right, guys. So I'm here showing you guys the wiring diagram for this 3800 series engine. So as we saw earlier, when I was back probing ignition one voltage, we saw that we we're getting 11 plus volts, which is good, which is a good indication that our fuse F25 ignition slash coil 15 F fuse is in is in good condition. It's actually providing power to bolt to actually all three coil packs which is also going to ignition one voltage which is pin P pink with black and pretty much pin P and pin N are actually tied in so pretty much this is the your input voltage and this is your output voltage to both of your input sensors which is your cam and crank sensors so in other words Without that 12 volt reference, both your cam and crank sensor are not going to operate properly. And that's why, that's the reason why we got that crank no start. It's not giving spark to your, to your three of your ignition coils. We got fuel, but no spark. So if you're having this problem, make sure you check your 12 volt reference signal. I mean, your 12 volt reference voltage, which is goes support your cam and crank also check your your low reference voltage which is your ground and last but not least check your cam and crank signals pretty much your most important input is your crank sensor your vehicle will start even with the faulty cam sensor this is a dual crank sensor which is a 3x and 18x so without this crank sensor signal you're not going to get spark on your coil packs so hopefully this information is useful. So this is Eli de Obri Tech. Subscribe if you like.